See, when we discuss the aspect of cytoplasmic inheritance or maternal inheritance, we mainly cite the example of shell coiling in limnia and kappa particle inheritance in paramecium. So in this presentation, we are going to see the way kappa particles are inherited in paramecium aurelia. So this is the diagram of uh, a unicellular protozoan organism that is paramecium. In this structure, you can see centrally here its large nucleus is located, which is referred as macronucleus. And close to it, you can see a small nucleus that is micronucleus. But in case of paramecium aurelia, you will find the presence of two micronuclei. Besides this, you can see the presence of contractile vacuoles, which are osmoregulatory in function. One is present in the anterior side, other one is present in the posterior side. You can see a clear area, which is actually its oral side. This is oral groove, you know, it is a, a small depression in one side of its cell. And this is the oral, uh, you know, end through which uh, the food will be taken inside. So this portion is its gullet and you can see the presence of food vacuoles. This is food vacuole. This one is food vacuole. And uh, besides this, the presence of cilia all along its body could be observed. So kappa particles are found in paramecium aurelia and uh, these particles are found in the cytosol. So let us see the fate of such particles and how it gets inherited to further generations. The kappa particles are bacteria-like structures. They are found in the cytoplasm of certain strains of paramecium aurelia and such strains are called as killer. A killer paramecium may contain 100 to 200 kappa particles which have their own DNA and protein and depend on nuclear dominant allele that is capital K for their maintenance. And these particles when get transferred to a sensitive strain of paramecium aurelia may cause their death since they secrete a poison substance which is called as paramecium. Paramecium aurelia is a diploid protozoan that undergoes sexual reproduction through conjugation and autogamy and it can also reproduce asexually through binary fission. In this diagram, we can see that on the upper side, two paramecia are shown. So these are two paramecia, one is killer, other one is sensitive. This one is killer because it contains the kappa particles, which I just said could be 100 to 200 in number. And these are bacteria-like structures. They have their own DNA. But uh, the kappa particles are maintained in the cytosol of the paramecium if there is presence of a dominant allele in the paramecium and that too in its nucleus means the uh, chromosome content possesses a dominant allele that is capital K. So if it is there, then it will maintain the presence of kappa particle in it. Otherwise, the absence of this dominant allele will result disappearance of particle from the cytosol. So this one is a killer strain because it contains such particles and it also contains a dominant allele which help the maintenance of this, such particles. The other one is genotypically small k small k so it is sensitive type and it does not harbor such particles at all. When these two different strains undergo conjugation process and conjugate for a short period of time, very short period of time, during such period only nuclear contents are exchanged and cytoplasmic contents are not exchanged at all. In such situation, after conjugation, see these two X conjugates, that is those paramecia which have separated after conjugation, they will have their genotype capital K small k and capital K small k. So this one, this left one is actually maintaining the presence of kappa particles, it remains as a killer one because it possesses a dominant allele capital K and it did not actually uh, lose its such particle during the conjugation process. It means such particles are retained in it. 
whereas the other one, although contains capital K allele -E in it, because through exchange it got capital K allele, -E, but cytoplasmic exchange was not there, so kappa particles could not reach in it, so it remained as sensitive one. Otherwise, if, if there would have been conjugation for longer time so that kappa particles could have come in it, then it would have changed into a killer form. See, in this diagram, again two paramecia are shown, one killer, other one is sensitive. The killer one has genotype capital KK, sensitive one has genotype small k, small k. Now, in this case, they are undergoing conjugation for longer duration. So there is exchange of kappa particles between the two. Now the X conjugates, they have kappa particles in them and they are genotypically same. That is capital K, small k and capital K, small k. So in their case, uh, they are now changed into killer forms. Particularly this right one is now changed into killer form because it has got kappa particles from its partner and now the maintenance of this particle is possible because genotypically it is also containing capital K allele. In this diagram, exactly the same thing is shown, but uh, we can see one step further. Here, uh, this left one is a killer paramecium and uh, it has its genotype capital K, capital K. The other one sensitive has its genotype small k, small k. They undergo conjugation process. During such process, there is no exchange of cytoplasm because they are conjugating for a short duration. Only nuclear contents are get, getting exchanged. So after conjugation, they are now capital K, small k and capital K, small k. But this left one is killer because it contains kappa particles, whereas the right one is a sensitive one because uh, it is not receiving kappa particles from the other partner. And in such situation, it will not be able to uh, synthesize such particles at all because the presence of such particles and the presence of dominant allele both will have to be there. Now, after autogomy means if this left one, which is killer, whose genotype is capital K, small k, if it undergoes autogamy, autogamy is a kind of sexual reproduction in which a single paramecium undergoes reproduction process. Its micronucleus actually divides meiotically and then um, in the end, you know, two micronuclei fuse and that way diploid condition is maintained. So it is a process of sexual reproduction, autogamy. And through autogamy, what will happen? The two paramecia formed will be of genotype capital KK and small KK. Now that one which is capital KK will be killer because it has, you know, dominant allele to maintain the particles. Whereas that one, which is a small KK, will change into sensitive form. Although it possessed kappa particles, but such particles were not able to maintain or to remain in the cytoplasm uh, because the recessive alleles are present in this individual. Now, in this case, in the right one, where the genotype is capital K, capital uh, small k, capital K, small k is the genotype of this individual, sensitive one. It also undergoes autogamy. As a result of that, two paramecia are being formed, one with genotype capital KK and other with the small k, small k. Now both are sensitive. They are sensitive because they do not contain kappa particles and, at all. And even this one, which is having genotype capital KK, will not be able to maintain such structures because such particles are totally lacking in it. Now in this structure you can see again two paramecia are there. This left one is killer, right one is sensitive and genotypically the killer one is having capital KK, the other one sensitive will have genotype small k, small k. They are undergoing conjugation this time but for longer duration see they have exchanged their nuclear content as well as the cytoplasmic content. As a result of that, the X conjugates will have their genotype capital K, small k. Okay, both will have same genotype and both are killer because both have received, you know, kappa particles. Both have enough kappa particles and such particles will be maintained in their cytoplasm uh, because the favorable, you know, genotype is also there. Capital K is present in them. 
and when each one undergoes autogamy, then they will be able to have two unoparamecia, means each one will actually form two paramecia, one with genotype capital KK and other with genotype small k, small k. That one which has genotype capital KK will be killer because it will have kappa particles in it, whereas the other one whose genotype is small k, small k will be sensitive one because it will not be able to maintain such particles. Exactly the same thing will happen in the right one whose genotype is capital K, small k. So due to autogamy, they will be able to have two paramecia, one with genotype capital KK, other with small k, small k. And that one which is having capital K, capital K allele will be killer because it will be able to maintain and propagate its uh, kappa particles whereas the other one uh, will not have such particles. Actually, initially such particles will be present in it, but in due course of time such particles will disappear and it will get changed into a sensitive form. So this is the way the inheritance pattern of kappa particles take place in paramecium and this is really one of the very favored and popular examples to explain cytoplasmic inheritance.